What up guys, uh, this is going to be my post 8.1 Disc Priest, uh, I guess, analysis, um, assessing the damage done, how it feels to play post-patch, what kind of gameplay changes that it will cause in Incar, um, and what, what new traits we're going to go for, all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, and just generally the, the state of the class, I guess, and, and whether or not we're we're dead, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna just go through the nerfs first, um, and talk about what that means for the class, um, and then we'll go through the buffs uh, and talk about which ones counteract the the nerfs, uh, which ones actually turn out to be buffs overall, um, and and generally the biggest issues with with the class right now. Um, so first of all, we start with focus will. Um, and originally it was two stacks of 15. It then got nerfed in a hot fix about a month before 8.1, maybe a little earlier, uh, to 10% per stack in PvP for disc. It has now been nerfed again to one stack of 15. Um, this makes the class feel very, very squishy when you're trying to train any sort of melee, or, or tank any sort of melee, rather, melee train. Uh, so against any sort of turbo, um, any sort of unholy DK. Unholy DK is probably the hardest thing to tank right now. Um, so yeah, TSG, unholy DK uh, with a warrior is going to be rough. Uh, you need to use your dome very early um, and hope he doesn't grip you out of it pretty much. Um, if he does, it, it is a problem. Uh, because if he, if he pops and you fall behind on your CDs or your health, rather, um, and he gets a lot of necrotic on you, you're going to end up using everything and just die anyway. Um, the goal is to get your dome up so that you can get casts off um, early to force his interrupts. Uh, if you don't get a lot of his interrupts out of the way early on and he still has them when you're low, you're not going to be able to fake them. A lot of them aren't even kicks or anything. It's like he has uh, his own kick, his own stun, his grip. Pet kick and pet stun to stop you. You need to start working through that when you're on full HP, ideally. Um, so yeah, the focus will change really makes you feel a lot more squishy. Uh, however, the shadow mend trait does counteract this, um, especially with masochism. Sorry, not shadow mend trait. The shadow mend buff in PvP, um, but the shadow mend trait is great too. We'll talk about that in a second as well. Um, but yeah, mend is, is a lot more of our a lot more of our tankiness against cleaves comes from mend now as opposed to focus will before. Um, so as long as you can get casts off, you you will be able to tank it. Um, we're going to carry on going through the nerfs for now. We'll talk about everything as a whole at the end. So halo change does nothing; it's placebo. Uh, power word shield change. Um, is is okay. I think it's a healthy change for the class overall. And shield was absorbing minus twenty five percent in PvP before the patch. Uh, it's now absorbing plus ten percent of tooltip value. So I'm getting shields of around sixteen k uh, on atonement, uh, which is okay. I think it could be slightly more. I think they could probably do with making it twenty to twenty five k, um, just mainly due to what I was saying here with with cleaves training you being a huge issue, but. Uh, it is dispellable, so at the end of the day, I think that would be a fine change. Uh, bear in mind that Rapture will still go through this. This does not stop you Rapture spam shielding. Rapture goes through weak and soul, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, I'll go through traits at the end, and then we're going to talk about damage here quickly. Uh, so Smite and Pain reduced by 11%, Fiend, Mindbender, Purge the Wicked, Schism, and Solace reduced by 8%. So I'm assuming that this is not a double nerf for Purge the Wicked. Uh, making Purge the Wicked still the solid choice on that tier. Uh, this this nerf to the dot in general does not hit that that, that hard. Uh, we did not get pressure from the dot damage really. It was more like you have dots up, uh, you have some extra healing uh, via atonement due, due to that when you get CC off. Uh, now having the dots up will be nice due to the men trait. Again, we'll talk about that later. Um, but again, the dot damage is not hitting us this hard. Uh, the, the worst, I guess, damage nerfs are on Smite, Fiend and Mindbender, and Schism, and I guess Solace. 
<clears throat> but I think with the Trinity change, you're going to be using Mindbender a lot more now uh, than Solace. I think Solace is, is definitely not as good of a pick anymore as it was. Uh, Mindbender is a lot, lot stronger now. Um, so definitely consider taking that more often. Um, the nerfs hit these harder because when you use these spells, you're looking to get pressure via damage. Uh, and you're looking to, you know, still get that tome and healing, uh, which was, is also nerfed uh, by 5%. So you're not going to get as much tome and healing in terms of AoE healing. You're not going to get as much uh, AoE healing from your damage, and you're going to actually have to cast probably the occasional mend to deal with AoE pressure. Now you won't be able to just spam nuke as much to deal with it. Um, so be aware of that. It does definitely, it is definitely noticeable. Um, but I think it's fine. I think you can still deal with the damage. You just have to deal with it in a different way. Uh, Body and Soul longer, no longer has a six second internal cooldown. That makes this somewhat more appealing uh, due to uh, it being more reliable. Before, you weren't always sure when Body and Soul would be up. It didn't feel good to use. It's only a three second shield, but now you can just apply that shield to everyone if needs be. Um, I think this will primarily be used... Uh, as debuff protection. Um, however, you do just want to take Masochism at the moment. It's so good with the Shadow Mend buff in PvP uh, that Masochism is definitely, definitely worth taking over this against any sort of cleave. So, yeah, Body and Soul is still pretty dead for me. Potentially usable against other stuff that you don't need Masochism for. I'm not sure it needs more testing. Uh, Evangelism cooldown nerf increase, that's for PvE. Uh, powered shield mana cost slightly increased. Uh, you probably won't feel this too much as you're probably going to be shielding a, a bit less, I'd say, maybe than you were uh, before the patch due to the weakened soul change. And then Rapture we already talked about. <clears throat> uh, and then we've got some holy changes. I'll probably talk about holy in a different video. I need to, need to actually test the spec first. Uh, potentially it could be good. I think there is too much casting on it still. There's not enough healing on the instant abilities, so you can just get trained down. Uh, but we will see. We'll talk about that at a later date. A lot of shadow changes as well. I won't talk about those either. Um, since I don't play shadow, I wouldn't be able to give a decent opinion on it. Uh, good enough that I'd be comfortable to put in a video at least. Um, so we have the PvP changes for disc as well. And this is where a lot of the buffs come in. Um, so our mana region is actually buffed. It was a 20% reduction in PvP. Now it's only a 15% reduction in PvP. Uh, this is definitely noticeable. You can mend a lot more now uh, without feeling like you're instantly going to be oomed by doing it. It, it definitely feels uh, a lot a lot less punishing to play Priest and use your abilities in terms of your mana. Um, so do, do keep an eye out for that. You won't be going oom as fast by any means, which is very nice. Um... And then Trinity is now buffed. Uh, it has the original effect. It was actually bugged post-patch and the, the second effect wasn't working. Uh, and I think there's still a tooltip bug. I'm not sure if it's tooltip or uh, if it's actual percentage too of the healing. But currently it says increases healing transfer by 12, not 12%. Uh, I suspect it's just a tooltip bug, but we'll see. Blizzard not made an official response on that yet. Um... But yeah, it now increases Smite, Penance, and Fiend Critical Strike to be increased by 25% when you have heal uh, Atonement on three or more allies. So in 3v3, you can put that on yourself and your two teammates, and that will work. Uh, you you can, yourself can as an ally. Uh, and this is, a, this is actually, I think, overall a buff to our single target damage slightly. Um, which is really nice, in my opinion. Uh, and it, it's a good buff to our burst damage while keeping our sustain more or less the same due to the nerfs to, to dot and stuff um, and then shadow fiend is buffed as well and shadow fiend does a lot of damage on the go uh unsure if this affects mind bender too i i would assume that it does but i would i do need to do some testing with that if it doesn't then that makes mind bender a non-worth when you play when you play training um but i'm assuming that it does it would be very strange if it didn't let me put it that way uh, and then I guess the biggest buff, Shadow Mend Healing increased by 25% in PvP. 
Uh, and I believe this also affects the Shadow Men trait, which also got doubled in the patch. Um, so that makes the Shadow Men trait very strong. I'm gonna go up and check that out now. Uh, what this means is you're gonna be mending more uh, in general, but also because mend is doing more, you're gonna spend less time mending. Um, if that kind of makes sense. It's like, you're, you're gonna prioritize going for a mend more over other stuff, but you're not gonna take as long to top somebody with your mends, uh, so that you can then go back to doing damage quicker, rather than getting stuck in that cycle where you're spam mending something and you can't top it, uh, which is a nightmare. Um, so there, here we have the Depth of Shadows trait being buffed, uh, and I'll show you how much it actually does in game uh, on tooltip. Um, and, it, and then it increases the atonement duration when applied by Shadow Men by two seconds. I honestly, I think this is placebo for PvP. Uh, it really doesn't actually make that much difference at all. You, usually since you're reapplying Trinity before it's uh, it's going to be ending anyway. And a lot of the time you're actually playing Trinity. So. Uh, you also have this new Death Denied trait, which actually is quite decent. We lost Azerite Fortification. That's been removed now. Um, and I think this is a decent uh, inner trait if you can find it on anything. It's not an outer trait, as I originally thought. Uh, and usually when you grip somebody, the shield will hold, and the shield actually gets removed after your Power Word Shield. So if you grip someone on Power Word Shield, then usually this is going to stay for full duration. Uh, and it will just make your grip a approximately a minute, a little bit over a minute cooldown. Uh, it'll be a, a minute cooldown after this fades. Um, which is really nice, in my opinion. You, you have a lot more uh, uptime on grip to get people out of there. Uh, so I think that's I, I think that's quite a cool trait. Uh, we had a couple of other traits. This trait, I think, is horrible. I think if this trait was in the game when 8.1 hit, this would have been one of the traits that got removed. I don't know why they've added this. It's very, very strange... Um, I, I can't actually see a use for this. Or I, I can't actually see any, like, any time you would use this other than, like, clearing trash um, in, in a raid or potentially in a Mythic Plus, but there's so many better traits for Mythic Plus um, rather than a 50% chance of your next Holy Nova to do a, like, with, with a higher level one, it's, like, doing, like, 3.5k more on a Holy Nova. Like, it's it's really poor. Um, so I can't see any, any either Mythic Plus or Raiders or PvP is opting for this trait, so I, I don't know what this is for. Um, this is a very poor trait. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's all the notes um, and traits. What, what they basically do is they make the class uh, be better overall at single target healing. You can I've actually had 120k mend uh, crit at one point, um, and that's with full... Stacks of, let me just get wow up really quickly. Okay. Um, so I'm running three, three men's traits here. And it's around 18k. Uh, more healing at full stack and it stacks up relatively quickly you can put three pains up and it will stack in in 10 seconds or so maybe 15 uh, it, it stacks up quickly um, and the good thing about it is you basically have your dots up you do your damage and then when you need to go to mending you'll have a 30 stack and you can do a big mend um, and top people really quickly and then go back to doing damage um, which I think is a, quite a nice playstyle to have. Um, it feels quite quite clean, um, but it does mean we're using radiance less this patch. Uh, in general, our mens are doing more than radiance now due to the PvP buff as well. Um, so radiance isn't as much of a uh, take anymore. I think maybe you take one radiance trait against some stuff and the talent, uh, where you can't actually cast that much. It's probably worth picking up one. And then running two men traits or possibly two radiance. Not sure yet on that one. Um, need to do more testing, but I think that's probably going to be roughly the meta. Having at least a couple of these men traits is going to going to do a lot for us. Uh, as I said before, the mana is, does feel better, but the single target damage feels slightly worse. Uh, it's harder for us now to force people off just with raw damage. 
Um, but I think that's that's okay. Our AoE spread damage is worse, but again, that's not really going to have that much impact in terms of pressure that you achieve in the arena. Um, and then Atonement healing, AoE healing is slightly nerfed too. Uh, but again, it's it's it just means you need to slightly change what spells you use. Um, so not too much of an impact there. Uh, again, the biggest change is probably the focused will nerf. Uh, we've, we do feel very squishy. You deal with that with Mend now and Masochism. Masochism inherently getting a buff. Uh, it does stack as well when you cast multiple Mends. So you can get a big Masochism up if you get a few Mends off and it just heals you for a fuck ton. Uh, I think that was everything. Mana regen buffed. Single target healing buffed, tankiness nerfed, AoE damage healing nerfed, damage slightly nerfed. That's everything that covers it. We did it, boys. All right. Um, so overall, I think this doesn't feel as bad as we thought it would, uh, which is nice. The playstyle is definitely different, and I'm not sure. I have to get used to it, maybe, but I'm not sure if I enjoy the current playstyle more than I did before. It feels a little bit clunky to keep up free Trinities or uh, free tournaments all the time for Trinity. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. It might be nice just to have have one or two because it does force you to apply atonement sometimes to targets that don't need it. Uh, and I feel like that doesn't feel very nice. It would be a lot nicer if it was maybe two two targets with atonement. Um, and then it does uh, rely on you keeping dots up, which you, to be fair, should have been doing anyway. But again, that does feel slightly clunky to constantly be painting three targets uh, where possible. Um, especially if you just came out of a CC chain and people are in trouble and stuff like that. But, yeah, that's where the class is at right now. Um, I guess it's a step forward. Uh, there are some things that they need to remedy, I think. But I think in general it's a step forward for the class. I think that the damage was probably too high. Um, because in certain situations you could actually pressure probably too much uh, for, for what a healer was... You know, sustained pressure, this is not burst pressure. Sustained pressure was was slightly too high when you could get away with it. Um, and, and generally, I feel like if we can get cast off, we are more tanky this patch. Um, but yeah, masochism does is a requirement against that sort of stuff. And it's just a shame that it's on our mobility tier. Uh, it would be really nice to see our mobility tier uh, get some sort of rework. Masochism maybe moved down here. Divine Star moved off. Um... Power of Fusion returned here. Lineage made passive. And then they can put something like Spectral Guys, um, Fade Freedom, and then buff Fever up to 80%. Because right now I feel like Disc is really, really hurting in terms of mobility compared to every other healer. Um, other than that, obviously Dominant Mind needs a rework. Um, but I think that the, the talent tree overall, after, uh, other than that, isn't too bad. Um, PvP talents, not too much gripes with it, to be honest. I think Premonition should be getting a slight rework to not be overpowered in PvE and then made baseline because it makes the uh, talent choices feel very clunky when you have to take it. A lot of the time you can't take it because you need to take other stuff and it's not reliable against like Hunters, for example. Um, so that's my quick rundown of the whole class. I um, think that's everything I wanted to say. If you've got any kind of additional comments or stuff you found out in the patch or issues you're having with the class, please let me know. Uh, I'd be really interested to, to hear what you guys think and, and talk about any kind of potential other specs we can go, talents we can take, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for watching. I hope this was uh, somewhat helpful and less depressing than the last video. Um, yeah, have a good day.